What's up YouTube, it's Hector from Not Too Nerdy, and before I go into this video, I want you guys to see the gameplay in the background. This is actually just a beta, but it's pretty cool so far. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Now this game is a lot of fun when it actually works. The problem is there's a lot of bugs in this game, and I don't know if it's a day one purchase. Now for me, I'm probably going to get this day one on a PC, but that's because I'm probably going to be playing, like paying like maybe $25 for it. I'll get it cheaper. There's no way I'm going to pay $60 for this game the way it is. Sometimes the connection and stuff like that is really slow. Sometimes you can't get, like, the matchmaking is a problem. Sometimes there's glitches in the game. Besides that, when things are actually working very smoothly, the game concept is very fun. It's definitely a SWAT team tactical, like, you know, game that I just think it's, you know, it's a lot of fun when you actually have everything working right. The problem is right now it's a lot of bugs, but hey, that's what a beta is for, so hopefully they fix it, but I don't know. There might be way too many bugs for them to fix for it to be released in December. But let me know what you guys think about that game in the comments down below. So let me go into this, uh, the topic for today's video. Now, Sony PS4 just announced a firmware update 3.0. The release date's actually going to be September 30th, so that's actually tomorrow, which is pretty cool. You know, it's a lot of cool features that I think it's, you know, really good for the PS4. It's going to improve the, the console itself. Now, the first feature is sharing video clips to Twitter. You know, it's very basic and stuff like that. Right now, you can already post pictures onto Twitter. Now, they're adding a feature so you can post videos. So that's pretty cool. You know, keeping up with the social, you know, network part of it and, like, you know, Everything about the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, everything nowadays is all about the social aspect, so it's pretty cool that they're allowing you to do that. Now also they have PlayStation Plus feature. It says, we made a dedicated section for PlayStation Plus, which you can access by clicking the big plus icon on the top right corner of your PS4 home screen. Once there, you can easily manage your membership. See the monthly fee games to download, deals for PS Plus members, and all the games you've redeemed through PS Plus on PS4. Now, I think this is great, you know, sometimes you have problems finding all the games that are available for you for free for PlayStation Plus and all the games that are in your library, stuff like that. Now it's pretty cool that they actually separate it to make it easier for you, the gamer. So that's a really good feature, you know. Is, is it a huge feature? No, but it does make the console itself a lot better. Now this feature is pretty cool. Now they have YouTube Live. So now, you, obviously, everyone knows you can live stream on YouTube. So far, all they had was Twitch that you could live stream for the PlayStation 4. Now they're allowing you to broadcast live onto YouTube. So this is a feature I will be using. Obviously, I'm going to be live streaming a lot more coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. But I'll be live streaming a lot more on my new PC that I'm going to build. But for right now, this is a pretty cool feature for anyone that wants you know live stream on YouTube. You can go ahead now and it's going to post it directly onto YouTube. So that's a really cool feature. Um, it says improvements to messages and favorite groups. We've improved messages by making it easier to access groups of people you chat and play games with frequently. Once you're added to a creator group, you'll see the online status for friends, what games they are playing, and the option to message or chat and party in one spot. When you add or create a new favorite group, uh, they'll appear your friends app under favorite groups for a quick access. For example, you can see uh, ha like you can see where the favorite groups are for Call of Duty, Rocket League, and Destiny. So that's a pretty cool feature, you know, just improves this very basic, but you know, some people might actually like that. For me, that's not a huge thing. Um, communities. PS4 users will have the ability to create communities based around shared interests, likes, uh, genres, and more. So communities include a message board with general discussion. Now this is awesome. Now this, I believe the Xbox One has this ready, which is the message board and stuff like that, but this is cool that the PlayStation is actually adding it. And that's the cool thing about all these, you know, competition and stuff like that. One console has it, the other one it's going to be pretty much forced to do it or do something better to keep up. And I think that's great for us, the gamers, you know. So it doesn't matter if you like Xbox One, it doesn't matter if you like PlayStation 4, it doesn't matter if you like Wii U. You're pretty much forcing each other to do more. And I think that's an awesome, awesome thing. The next feature is stickers. For the PS4 system message app, you'll be able to, like, add stickers and stuff like that. That's not a big deal at all. So that's pretty much it for the update. I mean, the, the coolest thing for some people might be the message boards and stuff like that for like, you know, you have your own little community and stuff like that. That's pretty cool for the social aspect. For me, YouTube live stream is a, is a big one. I think that's something that you need to do because YouTube obviously is, is a competitor to Twitch and not everyone streaming on Twitch, especially now that YouTube has their own thing now, whereas YouTube gaming section that you can live stream there, it's cool to have that feature implemented in the PlayStation 4. So let me know what you guys think about this. 
Let me know what you guys think about the game in the background. This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it. See you, YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps me out. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so you can see new videos from me every week. And remember, it's okay to be not too nerdy.